Hey yo, we're taking a quick lunch break next to the big rock. Down that away. Look over there. It's a big rock. The Ooh. rock is somebody left their wallet in my backpack. Oh, it's my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so the rock is about the size of an elephant. Don't be mean to the rock. This one's bent a little. I gave you the better sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> rock is the size of an elephant and weighs the size, uh, weighs the size, <laughs> weighs the amount of a school bus, which is like this rock next to us weighs like 10 to 12 tons. Tons? Yeah. Tons. Yeah. yeah. It's a big rock. But more importantly, sandwiches. This week, we've got sunflower butter and gooseberry jelly. What's that you say? Gooseberry jelly. What is a gooseberry? Because I don't know. A gooseberry. You know, I made the sandwich. Are the berries that I bought that one time. They're, that one time. <laughs> they're yellow. They're the yellow ones. And I made you try one. Gooseberries are like yellow berries. They're strange. And we've got gooseberry jam. I don't know what else to say. On the fresh homemade bread that my dad makes. Gooseberry bread. Gooseberry bread. <laughs> so. All right. What did we have earlier today? We had, we finished off the pumpkin apricot confit. We did. So, I'll have to get more of that. Absolutely. Gooseberry. Good sandwich. You can really taste the gooseberry. <laughs> <laughs> Where did gooseberries come from? Oh, I have no idea. From geese, geese. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> from the golf course. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have an over the top flavor, it just kind of melts in and makes it a little sweet and moist and good. I agree. So we've decided that we are definitely going to get back here when it snows. So next winter, this winter, because the snowshoeing seems like it would be a really good time. The trails are just right for it. And there's less elevation gain. I mean, it's definitely hilly, rolling hills, but- We've got some good, oh, okay, 270 feet. That's not huge. <laughs> but seems like a good place to do that at. I'll say two things. One is it's clear that we like the hike because we're talking about coming back here in the winter mm -hmm. when most people will be like, why are you there when nothing's in bloom? And why are you talking about coming back when nothing's in bloom? <laughs> we definitely want to come back when things are in bloom and do the west side, maybe even come back here. But the other thing I want to say, aside from the fact that we just proved that we're hikers, um, what I really like about this place, I mean, the, first of all, I love the trail. Um, it's just so soft and easy on the knees and ankles and feet. But um, there are so many different parking opportunities. So we started at the primary visitor center in the big parking lot with you know 400 parking spots. And um, it walked all the way to this point. We're on the far side of the whole park. But you can park 
really anywhere and they've got these little pull-offs that are three spots or five spots and uh, you can create your own hike mm. like this might be pretty far to do snowshoeing all the way from visitor center plus you're passing over a number of roads and you got to deal with taking the snowshoes on and off mm. but if we were to park back here like parking parking slot 8 or right. 11 or whatever it was we're not passing over any roads we're in the back side of the park we could do one or two loops that are back here where it's really very nice less far less people of course in the winter time i don't expect to be very many people anyway This is a, a new favorite spot. I'm, I'm really, I don't know why, again, I, I ask myself, how many times on film and how many times off film have I said, how come I have never been here before? But I think that's really why we're doing this is we haven't been to all the, any of these places and, and the film, you know, theoretically to give back is for those people that haven't, hey, here's a huge wide selection of parks and why and what they kind of look like. Come on out because many of these are outstanding, far more outstanding than a book would give it. Yeah, if you live in the area, there is a way to get out. There are things to see. And I would have not known about all these spots otherwise. But now that I know of them, I'm, we're hitting them all, so. Yeah, it's free parking if you're a member. If you're a member here, you're a member of Botanical Gardens. They got reciprocal. So I assume if you're a member of Botanical, you got reciprocal here. That's true. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. So, you know, bite that expense, but it's kind of worth it. Mm -hmm. And of course, the money goes to a decent place. That's very true. A lot of finches coming over. Alright, got all the birds here. Park it right here. Well, that's all I gotta say about food. What not. Uh, we do, we have changed a little bit of our habit. We finally went to the very big Asian grocery store that is uh, up on the northwest side. And um, it's a little bit of a life changer. Why? Um, well, I'm a big fan of fish. I'm a big fan of a lot of things that the, the that those. I guess there's two big stores. We're going to go to a different one this weekend. Um, the food product they have. Uh, there's made, you know, pre-made food. There's raw food it's just so different from a regular grocery store just the produce is so different yeah we're talking specifically about Aussie in Niles and their fish market specifically is like nothing I've seen I mean it's and we live across the street from Burr Hops from a Burr Hops store yeah I mean literally I live across the street from Burr Hops which is a you know a local fishmonger and doesn't compare to Aussie. Sure. Aussie just has whole fishes on chi on ice and like perhaps, but buckets of crabs that are moving around and it's just crazy. It's like nothing I've seen. The selection is huge. But oh, support products too. So you know, you got 15 kinds of miso paste. You have dehydrated fish, fish flakes. Mm. I mean, if you do any Japanese cooking, you know that that's you know, kind of important. Uh, I don't eat any of that. Vegan. Yeah, but I've had a good life change. Yeah. Um, and then I you know, pickled some vegetables. And that was some crazy. Like that. He pickled some vegetables and I got to take them home and they were so good. I, I'm so impressed with the pickling and I hope, I hope we can to do that some more. Yeah, yeah. I, st I mean, I've got all that pickled juice <laughs> at my apartment. Probably need to throw it out now. Yeah, it's old now. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not going to hurt you, but. Oh, you got the pickle juice? Or the, the one you gave broth. me? You, the one you gave me in the Big Ice gap. Mountain. Yeah, that that was the dashi, dashi broth, oh, okay. and it it you know it just it won't hurt you. It's just seaweed and mushroom stock, oh, okay. but um, you know the, the the best the peak of the flavors are gone. Oh, okay. And I'll make some more this weekend. Let's see my breath. Uh, and the miso soup I made with that. I still got that in the fridge. Well, I can help you clean that out. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. You can't have my miso. Damn it! It's not the right broth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're done for right now. It's a good 10-minute video. Shout out Aussie and Niles. And uh, and we'll have to go to Jerry's again to get some more uh, gooseberry and some more rhubarb. All right. All right. Peace.